Carson's Virginia home. Dr. Ben Carson is a successful neurosurgeon and he is now a member of the Trump administration. He is a very successful black man. He proves that you don't have to be white to be successful. Well, he had a response on Facebook regarding the racism and violence in Virginia. Advertisement, he told a story about how he used to live in rural Maryland and had a neighbor that had a Confederate flag on his property. Apparently the guy was shamed and he took it down. Then Carson got to the crux of the matter. He said that people who were spewing disturbing vile rhetoric about President Trump in Virginia along with the neighbors vandalized him in his wife's home. Now, why isn't Carson making this a racial issue? Because it's not always a racial issue. The fact is most of the time people hate people for opinions and other things that they don't like. It's not racism. Advertisement, there are examples of what to do and what not to do. Yes, there is hatred and racism across the nation and the world, but when you pretend that racism only works one way you do the world a disservice. The problem with the left is they believe that whites and Republicans are racist and hateful. They think Antifa and ultra-left wing groups are necessary. The left actively encourages violence and hatred. Ben Carson wants everyone to know that you can be neighborly even if you don't agree with people. He is correct when he says that we must use the right tools. There is no reason to be violent to convey a point. Using words is much more effective in a discussion, fires and weapons just cause fights. What do you think of this? Is Ben Carson right about what he said? Loretta Lynch woke up, read this, and immediately looked for her passport. Uh-oh. It looks like the past is coming back to bite Loretta Lynch. She is the reason for the latest request in Congress. House Republicans who are members Judiciary Committee have issued an official request for a second and individual special counsel to investigate criminal activities. Advertisement, they are requesting another special counsel to investigate actions by Obama administration officials and Hillary Clinton during the 2016 presidential election. Committee Chairman Bob Goodlett and other GOP members of the committee submitted a formal letter to Attorney General Jeff Sessions on Thursday. The letter also addressed to Rod Rosenstein while they requested a second special counsel. The letter was adamant about wanting to investigate Obama administration officials. Two of the big names on the requests were Loretta Lynch and James Comey. The two who colluded to make sure Hillary's investigation was called a matter. Advertisement, the House Republicans were also very open about the issues they saw with Mueller's probe. They called it too narrow and one-directional. The letter came right after Republicans vote to request documents related to Comey's communications with the Obama administration and journalists. Republican Reps. Andy Biggs. Arizona, Maggots, Florida, Jim Jordan, Ohio, and Mike Johnson, Law, were co-sponsors of the GOP amendment. The left has been very upset about Comey being abruptly fired, but they forgot that it is in Trump's power to do and Comey admitted to not doing his job during the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Not to mention that Loretta Lynch is the reason the matter was dropped. The best part of all of this is that the liberals are watching their corruption and their lies get exposed every day by the Trump lead cavalry. What do you think of what is going to happen to Lynch? Should she be more worried than everyone else that is going to be investigated? Will this lead to putting Hillary in jail? After voting to screw Trump, humiliating video of John McCain surfaces. Senator John McCain has a horrible reputation with true conservatives. His latest move in the Senate is the final straw and his reputation is now beyond repair. His vote early Friday to keep Obamacare shows exactly who he truly is. He isn't a Republican, he is a rhino that serves the globalists and the Democrats. Advertisement, what is so wild about all of this is that John McCain just got back to the Senate to cast the deciding vote to open the Obamacare debate. Now he has decided that Obamacare is here to stay. Apparently, his political rival from 2008 all of a sudden makes all kind of sense to McCain. Well now, this loser is going to have to pay the piper. A video just surfaced that will ruin McCain and his chances at re-election. During his 2016 campaign, 
he said that Obamacare didn't just need fixing or slight altering. He was ordering a full repeal of the wealth redistribution bill that Obama and the deep state forced through, advertisement. One of the debate moderators asked McCain if it was possible for Congress to try to McCain was very clear that he didn't believe that we could fix Obamacare, he was very adamant about a full repeal to fix the mess that it causes. We have to scrap it entirely and start over. McCain went on to explain why Congress must repeal Obamacare, it's a scam and the problem is, that the cost is becoming prohibitive and we've got to change it and fix it. There's nothing John McCain can say to make up for this planned and disturbing betrayal. Senator McCain doesn't care about America. He only cares about maintaining his position in order to make money off the taxpayers. What do you think of this video? Is it damning from a game? Bill O'Reilly just put final nail in career of John McCain with instantly viral tweet. Obamacare was one of the worst things that former President Barack Obama left in his legacy. During his political campaign, Donald Trump promised to repeal and replace the Obamacare. However, many senators voted against Trump's health care plan, including Republican Shelley Moore Cajito of West Virginia, Susan Collins of Maine, Lamar Alexander of Tennessee, Dean Heller of Nevada, Rob Portman of Ohio. John McCain of Arizona and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska are the Republicans who voted against repealing the Obamacare. After this vote, skinny repeal was introduced. Many people believe that this bill which included great features, will pass through the Senate. However, four of the senators mentioned before changed their minds, while Collins, Murkowski, and McCain voted against the bill. This is not the first time that Arizona Senator McCain went behind Trump's back. Ever since Trump made a joke at the expense of McCain's military service, McCain has been holding a grudge. He's been constantly going against the president's wishes. He sabotaged Trump's health care plan and then made a lame excuse about his action. However, television host Bill O'Reilly took it to Twitter to send a message for Senator McCain. This tweet immediately went viral and many Twitter users agreed with O'Reilly. He lost the respect for McCain and I don't think he's the only one who lost the respect. After all, McCain not only betrayed the president, but he betrayed the country and the American people. I think it's safe to say that McCain is no longer a Republican. His last move should be a resignation letter. What are your thoughts about his betrayal? John McCain comes forward explains why he betrayed American people. President Donald Trump has promised to repeal and replace the Obamacare during his political campaign. He wanted to lower the costs and health care for all citizens. However, that's not going to happen anytime soon as senators voted against his health care. Some of the senators who voted against the repeal of Obamacare were Republicans, including Arizona Senator John McCain. Obamacare was one of the worst health care reform this nation has ever seen and needs to be changed. This is not the first time that McCain went against Trump's wishes. It appears that he had a change of heart. McCain's vote against the repeal could cost the American people big time. World Politicus reports this has caused President Trump to blow a gasket, in a sense, as it is a clear act of defiance. There was no reason for McCain to vote against this repeal. The new law is built around helping the American people. Liberals try to attack it for ignoring the needs of people, but they obviously have missed the point. McCain tried to explain his vote. Not only he betrayed the president, but he betrayed the American people. It appears that he changed his conservative values to liberal. World Politicus reports Democrats have even started to count on McCain to defy Trump at any chance he can get and that is never a good thing. It all started when Trump made an ill-timed joke at the expense of John McCain's military service. Wow, McCain holds a grudge against the president and he wants revenge. That is the only reason why he constantly goes against Trump's wishes. Although he was supposed to support the president, he became one of his worst enemies. McCain is no longer a Republican on paper. It's time for him to resign. Do you agree? Man who organized riots has frightening link to Barack Obama. 
Is it possible for a white supremacist to vote for a black politician? What about him voting for someone who is half black and half white like Barack Obama? Apparently this guy would be a horrible white supremacist. Would you say about a white supremacist that supported a black president? So if I were to tell you that one of these so-called white is right folks were actually an Obama supporter, you might want to know what was up with that. After all, it's highly unlikely that a person could go from avid Obama supporter to neo-Nazi over the course of a year. Advertisement, the person could be a diehard liberal and people would believe that he became a white supremacist almost immediately. Well, of course it might be easier to tell the truth. He would be a liberal plant in a pathetic effort to make whites look evil in an attempt to prove their point. Of course, we know that liberals would never use underhanded methods to make themselves look better. However, they're not looking too great after this news about the instigator of the recent Charlottesville riots came out. It would be bad enough if these were just well-meaning but misguided weddies who thought they were doing the world a favor by flaunting their ignorance but now the media has come out strong taking every opportunity to say that these modern-day KKK members and neo-Nazis are basically President Trump's best friends, despite what he has to say about it. Now it looks like the whole thing was a surgical political strike played out before our eyes. Jason Kessler was one of the organizers of the events. He was a Barack Obama supporter and staunch Democrat. All of the sudden, after Trump's election, he became a neo-Nazi? This sounds rather bizarre. Advertisement, what do you think about Jason Kessler? Do you believe that he is a white supremacist? I believe he was a liberal plant who infiltrated the event in an effort to turn it violent to give the media a narrative and give the government more power over protest.